A task force of first responders is heading to Louisiana to help out after Hurricane Ida. That group includes 10 people from Seminole County. Our Joe Kepner recently spent part of a day with the Seminole County Fire Department and shows us how they find such extraordinary men and women in tonight's Central Florida Strong. It's 11 a.m. on a Tuesday, and the fire crew from Station 22 in Seminole County is helping a man get to the hospital. For firefighters and EMTs, a call like this is routine, but the people making that call are hoping someone like Shane Burke shows up. They see you, it's the worst time of their life, so you got to make their, time, their worst time become somewhat better for them so they can make it through. Burke is not an outlier. There are people like him throughout the Seminole County Fire Department. And if you're wondering where they all came from, here's a clue. This whole job is run off being a team. Transfers over very well uh, from playing sports to the fire department. Seminole's fire stations are filled with former athletes like Burke, who played football for Lake Mary High School, and Anthony Vargas, a former Lake Howell Silverhawk. When's the last time you fit into that jacket? It's been a long time. I always wanted to be, by the way, growing up, I always thought they were cool, you know? I always thought they were the cool guys. Um, I always wanted to help people. None of this is an accident. The fire department actively recruits former athletes, and not just in football. Charles Morales is a former boxer who once fought at Madison Square Garden. Aaron Wolf played college softball, was named the Rookie of the Year firefighter last year. And don't forget Assistant Chief John Thibbert. He played in the minor leagues for the Yankees and Angels. You're playing a sport to do the bigger, get the bigger championship, win, do something bigger than yourself. And I think that goes with here. You're doing this, it's something bigger than yourself. A Florida State fans might also recognize firefighter and paramedic Paul McGowan. Won the Butkus Award in 1987. It's given to the best linebacker in the country. He was inducted into the Seminoles Hall of Fame in 1994. And the list goes on because people who like putting on these uniforms tend to be good wearing these colors too. And when game time comes, you know, you gotta be ready. And that's how it is with the fire department. You're always training. You're always practicing, so when game time comes, be ready. The need for competition doesn't go away. Burke still plays quarterback for the Guardians, a team of first responders that plays in the National Public Safety Football League. Just bashing heads with uh, other guys. Vargas was a member as well until injuries shut him down. They say it's a way to raise money for charities, honor people killed or injured in the line of duty, and keep that competitive fire burning. Everything is competitive in the fire department. Everything. Yeah. Putting on your shoes at night is competitive. You don't want to be last at anything. Now, Seminole's fire department just ended their most recent recruitment period. They say another one will be coming up soon because there's always a need for people who want to keep Central Florida strong. <laughs>